control is a monster, you can special summon. Yep. Next is three Seuss. Three Seuss are your MSTs of the deck. All you do is tribute the heretic monster from your side of the field or your hand and blow up your back row. Very, very good. Oh, yeah. Three Assets. Your Assets are your normal uh, summon potential. All you have to do is normal summon them. Their attack drops to 1,000, so they're usually there to start your play. Total, or for level manipulation. Total tribute fodder. Yep. And all of those, when they get tributed, they special a normal guy. Yeah. To yeah. X Z. So. Correct. Yeah. Now, a set is also used for level manipulation. So if you have a normal dragon type monster on the field, you can activate a set's effect, target the normal monster, and all heretic monsters. So say if you have a Sue and a set, both those become the level of the normal monster. So you can say you have a Watt Till as your normal. You target with the set. A set becomes level 6, and Sue becomes a level 6. Very good, very good. Next is some that I've run. Not many people do this, but this is for the deck. Three Nubdets. Nubdets are um, mini Dark Holes. All you do is tribute the Horatid Monster from your hand or side of the field, and you blow up uh, one monster that your opponent controls. The reason not many people run Nubdet because they prefer using Sue, Tefnuit, or better yet, Card Card Ds for draw power. I run the three Nipdets because they're my rank fives. They're what I use to make my rank fives. And card card D is expensive. <laughs> yeah, I don't have the money for them. Now that's it for the staples on these. Basically all the hieratic monsters here. Yep. Next is Gabib. One. one Gabib. Now the reason why I run run one Gabib is He's an 1800 attack, so he's your starting play usually. If you have him in your first hand, instead of normal, clean, normal summoning a set, which it becomes a thousand, normal summon does 1800. Pretty good. Yeah. Now, his effect is also when he destroys a monster by battle, you can special summon a normal dragon type monster, normal dragon heretic monster from your deck or graveyard. You have to remember that it can't be any normal monster. Mm -hmm. Also, when he's tributed, he gets the same effect. So. Do you only run one just because you don't like to draw into it, or I run one. Not be, enough room. Well, my main reason for running one is because I have all these other special summons here. I have so many monsters here, and with Gabib, he's a nice normal play, but I don't want him to sit on the field. He's easy yeah. to truck over. Even yeah. at 1800, so many people can do so many big King plays. And yeah, yeah, especially first turn. Yeah, Thunder King, and if I went first normal summon him, Cyber Dragon. I mean, I don't want him to sit on the field. Yeah. He's nice for beginning or for fodder, but he is definitely some I would only keep at one. Next is Darkness Metal. Of course, use Darkness Metal to special summon one of your Dren type monsters from the hand or graveyard. So good. Uh, yeah, of course you would have one. Can't wait till he comes back at two. <laughs> no. Probably not. We know that ain't gonna happen. Never. Now this is where the deck gets funky. Three erratic sealed sun dragon overlords. Three balls. <laughs> now, the, bi the big balls. No, yeah. no mystic shine balls like those little teeny balls. We got the big balls here. Yeah. Now this is where people start complaining to me. Oh, why would you run that? Why aren't you running level six? My first erratic deck was yeah. My first erratic deck was level eight. I made an original one. It was solely level eight. So they're special to me. I run three. I love the three. You can make Heliopolis the big, huge, freaking monster from your deck. And, and like that's why you would run him too, right? Because yeah. it's the heretic normal monster. Yeah, with, with Gabib, when he's tributed, you grab the heretic normal monster. You grab it level eight. With um, let's see here. With the, uh, for example, with the set, make a set level eight. <laughs> you can there you go. All the rank eight plays. Oh man, you make Heliopolis. You even can make Neo Galaxy eyes. One of my favorite plays was um, I'll mention later on, but it's it's funny. Another thing you can do with the three level H here is Thunder in Drag. You can make Thunder in Dragon blow up all monsters on the field. Another thing is that with these three Nor monsters, they're heretics. So say they're stuck on the field. You have a um, Nubdet or a Sue. You want to activate their effects yet you have no other monsters. Tribute one of the balls. They're they're fodder for you. They're heretic fodder. Now next is the level 6 portion. You have your one Luster Dragon and one Watt Till. I run one of each just in case of chain disappearance. I don't want all of my uh, Watt Tills or Lusters disappearing from me. Yeah. I don't want that. 
They're usually used for odd tune, photon strike bounder, short breaker, force focus, all those rank six. Next is the one normal monster, and this is what makes it into a splash. It's Curse of Dragon. I run one Curse of Dragon because the main deck is is rank sixes and rank eights. That's all heretics. So it's kind of hard to get out of the normal deck. You run one level five just for the thing. Now, if you are later in the game or at the beginning play and you're like, well, I need to make an Adrius or a Terrace. I need some to uh, change the movement of the game. Mm -hmm. You play Curse of Dragon, Nephet, you got your Adrius or Terrace. Even Zen Mayo if you have one. And that's it for the monsters. Next is for the spells. Two Convocations. Staple. You use your Convocations to search out any heretic monster you need. Yep. For Tefnuit, Aset, Nephet, Shu, anything that gets your plays off. Yeah, you can only have two, so. Yeah, thanks thanks to it being semi, but it, it really doesn't slow the deck at all. I mean, I um, I made an earlier uh, Heretic deck, a test one, and I only put two in it because I couldn't find a third one. Go figure. Um, it still ran perfectly. It ran smoothly. It's not needed. <laughs> Next is one supremacy. Not many people run supremacy. I do. Supremacy is just in case if you get into a habit of drawing shoes and the feds. You can't normal summon them. You can't get them out of your hand. Supremacy. Activate supremacy, special summon one heretic monster from your hand. Boom, sue. Or boom, the fet. Tribune the fet for sue. Just get your plays out there. Oh, yeah. It's another yeah, starter. It's yeah, it's in this. Next, two enemy controllers. <laughs> yeah, enemy... <laughs> I wouldn't even have thought of that. <laughs> yeah, AP, AP Banff laughs. Um, enemy controllers are for, say you normal summon the set, your opponent has a big, huge monster. Activate enemy controller, tribute the set, you get control of it. <laughs> it's funny, and then the set's effect goes off. That's shit. Since, since the set would tribute it, its effect goes off. It, it's great. Also, since they're quick spells, I don't use them for this very often, but you can. Is that if your opponent is making a big play and you have a heretic monster and you know it's a little a set or a gabib and you know it's going to get trucked over, I, pull, activate that. Activate that tribute that get him a, get your opponent's monster to your side of the field Change and get a normal monster. Something like that. Whatever yeah. you want to do. Yep. And I mean, it, it won't get rid of the monster, but you will at least stall for a turn. And with that extra normal monster, you can make all your plays, especially if it's a ball. Two upstarts for draw engine. Your opponent gains a thousand, but it's a nice price to pay for drawing the card. With each draw you get, that you can't have a bad draw. You honestly can't. It's if you if the deck is shuffled, if everything is aligned, is everything is all over, you're you're going to get a good pull. You're going to get a pull that you're going to need. Next is super rejuvenation. Super rejuvenation is. Um, has been used recently in heretic decks. It's a quick spell. What happens is that during the end phase, the turn that you activate it, you draw one card for each dragon type monster discarded from your hand and or attributed during this turn. Very good. Super very good. rejuvenation. So pretty much you uh, attributed, uh, and this includes tributing from the hand. So say you activate shoes like tribute, 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 and um, you activate it at main phase two. Very good. You tributed three monsters. You draw three during the end phase. You refill your hand. <laughs> I mean, it, it's beautiful. It, it's a nice quick spell. You want another one? <laughs> I have one. Wait, you do? I'll give it to you. Oh, you take another? Right. As you can tell, oh this God, deck profile Christ might change before the end of this year. <laughs> Next is one trial and tribulation. A lot of people, to me, this is overran. To me, people blow this out proportion. I don't like it. Uh, now I know I'm going to get hit for that. Um, the reason why I don't like it, you have to play around the card. It doesn't stack. So you normal summon, you tribute. You have to time the card right or you won't get its effect. So say you um, play a little early. You get um, two tributes or three. You only can activate the third one. You don't get to draw a card. You don't get to add the monsters from your deck to your hand. It, to me, it's a, bad, it's a bad card. Reason why I run one, though... Even though I'm saying it's no negative, it's a nice card. It, it's if you play it right, if you play it correctly, you 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 can work all your fields, all your cards, all your plays around that. It's actually very nice. If you need destroy, uh, and with heretics, you don't have to worry about tributing. It's it's easy. That's how the deck is ran. Kind of what you do. <laughs> yeah, that's what that's what heretics are. 
So you don't really have to worry about it too much. I personally don't like it. That one I might take out for super rejuvenation. I'm not too sure at the moment. Next are two cards, two advanced shows. Now, two advanced shows. This is weird. People have never seen this play before. The reason why I want two advanced shows is whenever a monster is tributed, summon. So, special Tefnuit tribute for Shu. Shu's effect, you tribute from the hand, it does not change. It, it does not count for this. But, Advent Zone stacks. That's what I like. So, one or more tributes. Destroy one set card your opponent controls. Instant MST. Tribute two or more. Draw a card. Three or more. Add one monster from your graveyard to your hand. And they Very, all stack. All recycling kind of Yep, too. yep. It all stacks. And it's a continuous spell card, so it lasts. Oh, shit. Next card is one Advanced Force. Advanced Force is weird. Now people say, what's that? Advanced Force tri um, tribute one level 5 or higher monster for level 7. I run this for Red Eyes Darkness Mail. Nor some the set, Advanced Sources on the field, tribute the set for Red Eyes Darkness Mail. I don't have to ban it and I can continue a set's effect and continue the place. Nice. Now the staples. One Buck of Moon, Dark Hole, Heavy Storm, and Monster Reborn. Obvious. Always run them. No questions. <laughs> yeah, no questions asked. Next for traps. One call of haunted. It's an extra fodder. Um, it's a trap card. If you need to fill your field back up so your opponent doesn't OTK you, mm -hmm. it's a nice card. Dark bribe. Save your field. Dark hole is torrential. They're just a bitch against this deck. <laughs> you don't... Yeah, I hate it. Yeah, you don't want that to happen. I wish torrential went back to one. XYZ Reborn, XYZ Reborn, target one XYZ monster from your graveyard, added as a material. Heliopolis, He's Thunder and Dragon. Of OP. Yeah. Very good. And one Jar of Greed, I need to draw power. It's, this deck needs draw power. Next for the extra deck. There are two rank fives, Idris and Terrace. Yeah. Amazing, amazing. Amazing, yeah. The Both on the field at the same time, you win. Come on now. Yeah, it, it's it's a nice lock. It Win really condition. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's 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 the reason why the it's called splash. It's a rank five. You, it's very nice. You can make them quite easy. All you need is a that curse of dragon. Next are three items. Amazing. Rank sixes. Everyone knows what they do. My deal with that this is not the main part of my deck. I'm a level eight player. These are if against all my friends, all against all the opponents I play, I play Atum later in the game. It's it, it's something I don't do. Now people say, well, that's weird. Well, it's to me it's all about destruction. In this new format, Heliopolis Thunder and Dragon to me is a better play than Atum. Yeah. I, with Atum's effect, he can't attack afterward, even though that's what these are for the two guys to overlay with them. But they still can't attack. And you get level zero zero, so detach one darkness mail. Even though you could continue plays and stuff, you still have that darkness mail at zero zero. You can't do much with that. Not really. Nothing. Yeah, and and your opponent will truck it. I mean, it, your opponent's probably gonna go for that injured dude. <laughs> Marshman on over red eyes. You can do it. Really, the only one that that is useful with that effect is uh, Galaxy Eyes. Yeah, Galaxy yeah. Eyes is a nice play. But he doesn't even run it. Yeah, yeah, I don't run Galaxy Eyes in this deck. It's if, you a want, if you want one. I yeah, I run Galaxy Eyes in my set. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Force Focus. 2800 attack. Get over that freaking you know what. <laughs> yeah. I hate that card. <laughs> get over Bouncer. I love him, but I hate Bouncer. Yeah, get over Bouncer. Um, same effect, but it's during either player's turn, negate it. And it's it, a, you can't do it on the XYZs. That's what I didn't like about it. Yeah, it, level 5. It, it's bad, but it's truckable. Oh, or, yeah. I mean, it trucks monsters. Uh, yeah, it's really good. Sword Breaker, Catastrophe of the game. Detach one material, declare one type for the rest of the duel. That's how it is. And you could change it. I've literally never seen that card before. Dude, Sword Breaker is the Catastrophe of the Exceeds. Next is Photon Strike Bounder. Of course, the gate during the inner player's turn. Love Photon Strike Bounder. You don't like that card? One of our friends here doesn't like Sword Breaker very much. No, no, he doesn't like this one. He oh, John like Green. Any of your trap lineup. I'm sorry. <laughs> XYZ Reborn is amazing. Thunder and Dragon and two Heliopolises. Hello, Thunder and Dragon, your Dark Hole. Holy shit! Heliopolis, Tribute Monsters. Yeah, Just monsters, doesn't even have to be Heratics. Blow up any card on the field. <laughs> so, your spell traps, goodbye. Monsters, oh goodbye. God. This is why. I have an ulti. <laughs> hey, hey, just a hint. 
when you use those things, never do two at once for fear of Starlight Road.